guys welcome to my channel my name is Sarah if you are new I do furniture flips on my main upload every week and I also have bonus videos of DIYs and thrifts and other how-to things that uh, you guys could do at home if you like this video you get to the end consider subscribing click the bell notifications and if you're returning hey guys welcome back I'm so glad that all of you are here. This week's piece, it is a desk that I found on the side of the road on my way to work. I quickly turned into the driveway and then had to figure out how to get this guy and a six drawer dresser into the back of my car. I actually didn't fit both of them in. I got the dresser first and then the next day this was still there. So I stopped and I got it. It was a great piece to work on. I love the details. It didn't have any handles, so we had to work that out. Luckily in my stash, I had some. We also did a, a wash on the legs and the top. I go through all of that in this video. So with that, let's get into it. The best way to put glue on, rather when you can, I know there are times when you can't that you have to sort of squirt it in there and hope for the best, but when you can, like spreading the glue out flat on the surface is, is the best way to apply the glue. clamps. Let me tell you, I had a time and a half doing that. I had to turn the camera off because I was <laughs> saying some colourful words. Now you just want to make sure you go in with a damp rag and any glue that has come out. And that's another thing about flattening the glue out first is that it's less likely to squirt out, I have found. This door too, not being able to shut, is annoying the crap out of me. I need to fix that lock before I rip the whole floor off. Oh, wow, that came off really easy. Found that, luckily. Phew. Goes right. There. So I don't have to try and recreate it. I just have to glue it and nail gun it. And all else fails. Knock it with the hammer. Bondo wood filler, my go to. That's not going to fit in there. Okay, I don't need a lot today. It's turning pink because I put way too much hardener in there. <laughs> I'm going to have to work quickly. Just sort of globbing it on there right now. Professional word. Because I'll shape it later.
Look what I found in one of the drawers. It's um, a water bill. And the date on it says, it was a date, 1963. And it was $5. 10,000 gallons of water used. That's what I found in the desk. That's so cool. All right, so these are the little uh, drawers. They're so cute. I'm keeping this, but I want to sand it. I'm going to be painting the inside a black chalk paint. I just want to remove all of the hardware, but I need to scuff it up and paint. I'm literally, can you see this? She's picked her spot, doesn't care what I'm doing. That's where she's going to stay and I have to work around her. So, I need to remove this keyhole because um, there's no handles. I guess there used to be a key and you use that as a handle. Now I have a gaping big hole. The best course of action for that is to go through my scrap wood find one that's about the size of it, glue it, and then put some um, Bondo in and around, in and around it so it seals it up. Took this guy off and it looks good. I need to probably go over it with a strong bristle brush and some mineral spirits. Ethylated spirits is what we call it in Australia. And that's the handle. All right. Going to prime with Zinza. Okay. The bullseye. Anyway, it's water base primer. I'm going to decant it into my sour cream cup. You can already tell, of course, she's going to be a bleeder. All right. And do you see on my brush? See how it's discolored already? So some of the stain color is already coming up into my brush and that's why I decanted it because I didn't want to wreck the rest of my can dipping back in. So good call. Because I'm going to be painting these black, I don't want to prime them in white. Dixie Belle makes a clear primer, the boss. 
and mostly I'm just priming so the paint has something to adhere to. It doesn't have any smell. I'm not worried about bleed through. So giving it a good quick coat of boss. Given it two coats of primer. I wanted to use Dixie Bell's Burlap to use this paper on the inside. I have just a little bit left over. Okay. <clears throat> I'm definitely going for a more lived in warm look on this guy, and I'm going to be doing some antiquing as well with my wax, my dark wax. edging is like ugh, you know it's black meeting like burlap it's called so it's beige so I was like you know what you know how those two lines can meet blending <laughs> I am by no means an expert I love watching uh, Cristana over on Bella Renovare and she is a freaking expert. You should check her out. You probably already have. She's very popular. Anyway, she does amazing tutorials on blending. So you need your two main colors, which for me are burlap and caviar. And then you also need a clean dry brush with blending brush, which is what I've got paint the black side so it's wet, paint the burlap side so it's wet also, and then I'm going to blend, blend, blend with my dry, with my clean neutral brush, she calls it, clean, dry, neutral brush. And I'm just going to have fun with it. I'm just going to go for it and you guys can watch along with me. It's a, it's a good way to blend two distinct colours and get them to be friendly towards each other. <laughs> Thank you. 
what did you think? This was a number two of my four in four days and it was a whole lot of fun. My favorite part of this dress is actually the legs. I love the legs, they turned out so beautiful and uh, I was really pleased with it. So next week's piece is my middle child, my second son, his dresser and uh, we got to work on that. So it's a matching one to my first color blocking uh, dresser that I did. So you'll, you'll see a familiar um, shape and the handles and that sort of thing. And I hope to catch you on that video next week. Bye guys.